All right, so we're gonna go off to uh, Hollow Bastion first because. Oh, by the way, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix Platinum Trophy Run. Uh, we are going for the last few synthesis items we need, but before I go after the Neo Shadows, I'm just going to go get the few items that I just undercounted, I guess. Um, shut up, Windows. I know you can't detect my USB device because you're weird and stupid like that. Uh, yeah, we're only a few items short. We need one energy stone from the self soldiers, which now I actually know how to tell whether or not they're here. I don't even need to look for, like, blue invisible streaks or anything. I literally just gotta come up here. If the soldiers spawn, they are not here. If they do not spawn, then they will be here. So this should mean that they will be here. Yeah, there's no shadows. I'm not shadows. Uh, there's no soldiers, so the stealth soldiers should be here. Um, I need this. I need one thunder gem, which is a little RNG, but I just got to go back to uh, deep jungle, and that should be there. Uh, and grind with Bambi. Uh, same thing for the lucid shards, because I actually need five lucid shards to get one more dark matter synthesized. And then that's the one uh, dark matter that I need. And then aside from that, I forget what the name of the item is because I actually didn't bother to look. I just know I needed to destroy three more. Uh, really? I need to get three more uh, of the Neo Shadow items. Come on, hit them. There we go. Energy Stone, and we're already done here. Where's the other one? There we go. Because I, I just want to kill you for the sheer fact that you ran from me. Did he actually despawn? Son of a gun, he actually just despawned on me. Little punk. Alright. And yes, yeah, seriously, Donald needs to stop stopping. He's just wasting so much time. Especially because stop is determined by the amount of magic you have. So, I think it's like an extra two seconds per magic meter you've got? No, not that much. But point, look how much, he's got 14 magic points. So, he's gonna stop enemies for a long time. All right, so we can get rid of the energy stone. Let's stop by uh, Deep Jungle to try to get another Thunder Gem. Now, this may take a little longer because there's only a 30% chance of the Thunder Gem dropping. I don't know where I went. Perfect, okay. It's actually where I wanted to go. I just was spamming for whatever. Now you spawn. Fire. And yeah, I waited. By the way, we, uh, we got all the mystery goos we needed and um uh, what was it we got all the arts so we got uh the final uh shield for goofy so that's already done Hurry. and thank you to uh tank and whoever else mentioned the whole uh what was it the uh the rare truffles because I knew that they would drop uh, Mystery Goose, but I didn't realize how easy it would be to combo them like that in uh, Halloween Town by the bridge area. So, I just never tried. But after being told how to do that without actually looking at a guide for it, it was just like, oh, that's easy. And we were just good from there. So, that's another thing out of the way. You don't have to worry about that. I hate these guys. Like, I need to beat everybody quick enough. Come on. Alright. Don't need any of those, but... Come on. Please... No, I didn't get it. Unfortunately. Dude, look how many freaking potions and ethers are just flying everywhere. I can't even pick up anymore. How much would you get if you sold all your potions? I have no idea, but it don't even matter. 
because uh, 85,713 money. And the only reason I'm not maxed out at 99,999 is because I went and bought three or Chalcums or Chalcum, whatever. Give me strength. So I don't know if I'm missing any through the game, like from chests. But the sheer fact that you're able to buy them for 5,000 a piece, I just went and bought them. And then set the size whatever item I needed with them. Also, I completely forgot to set my timer, but we're just going to go ahead and uh, do that after this and just set it for like 50 minutes instead of uh, an hour or 55 or whatever. Come on, you. Oh, there we go. Hitting everything except the one I'm trying to lock onto. Alright, come on, you guys. I just need a Thunder Gym and I'll be gone. I can stop killing you and all your family. I like to think of the Heartless as family. Makes it much more satisfying knowing that uh, they're not just respawning and being obnoxious, they're, uh, their family's just coming to avenge them. And I got a Thunder Shard instead of a Thunder Gem. Yay. I mean, I could get the... I could have gotten a Thunder Gem from the uh, White Mushrooms, but I didn't feel like sitting there waiting for them to possibly give me the Thunder option. Give me strength. Yeah, dude. If we could just finish these uh, four synthesis items and get them out of the way. <sighs> A dysfunctional family, maybe, John? I mean, yeah, I mean, kind of by default, right? And who else was saying earlier, like, uh, I actually started the stream on time, so, like, as soon as the 10-minute countdown was over, I switched immediately to the game screen. And uh, they were like, oh, you're just going to make it a force by suffering and dying. You saw that I just got completely pimp slapped by the claws of a monkey. And it did like 1 out of 96 HP of damage. Like, I'm never dying. Especially with all the elixirs and mega elixirs I have. Like, I'm not even going to die against the secret bosses. I almost got them all in one combo. Come on, a little more. Thunder Gem, done. Alright, cool. Didn't take too long. Wait, I guess Demon Towers are a form of family bonding? Sure, let's go with that. I swear, sometimes I'm just killing these guys out of spite. The dragons and whatnot. Um, hello, people of the stream. What I missed? What's up, Fire King? We, uh, all we did was get, uh, what was it? A Thunder Gym and, uh, what was the other thing we just got? Whatever the, uh, Stealth Soldiers dropped. The Power Gym, I think. So, we just got half of the materials that we need, basically. Now I'm off to Monstro to try to get uh, five lucid shards. Besides John's chroma being stupid, that is. That's not even. Honestly, at this point, I don't even think it's the chroma being stupid. It's just like whatever's in the background is way too sensitive for whatever reason. Like they blend. Like if I don't go in front of the green, like look. Like it's whenever. It, it's following me. So it's like the shadow I I put on the on the seat in the green screen. And then it's only when I'm like on something green that it actually looks as bad as it does. One day I'll actually put the light bulbs back in that uh overhead light. Maybe I'll actually bother to do that, just go in the uh, garage and get some light bulbs. Actually, why am I going this way? Be way faster to go like chamber five or six or something. Just somewhere with a bunch of enemies. Oh, 
No, stop. I miss fighting Dark Ball, Heartless. Uh, you might be one of the only ones. No lesson or LED balls? I have no idea. Probably for us? I don't know what we have. It's literally whatever we have. Also, apparently it wasn't the power gem that I needed because... Stop gliding in a circle, you punk! Oops. I hate these guys so much. Stop moving! I'm on a time limit with Bambi! You're being a jerk. Alright, that's one lucid shard. Uh, hello? I was about to say, I better be able to reach that. Alright, got two. That's alright. Get off the turn. Thank you. My sister's birthday is tomorrow. Well, happy early, uh, happy early birthday to, would that be the Fire Queen, or is that not how that works? Does she stay a princess? Hmm. Royal family, uh, like, levels are weird. But, uh, anyway, how many of shards you need? Uh, five, and I just got two, I believe? Unless I miscounted one and didn't see it. And it's five more than I had before, not like five on hand. I don't actually know how many I had on hand at the time, which I should have stopped and looked at. Ooh, yes, thank you. Everything in the corner. Lucid Gem, no! I don't want Lucid Gems, I just want shards. No, I just want shards. There we go. No, no, that's a frost shard. I saw that. It's another one. Darn you. I can't even carry high potions anymore. I'm just getting maxed out on everything. Douches? Douches? Uh, douches? Whatever. Um... Yeah, I think I've been uh, maxed out on uh, high potion. It'd be nice if I was maxed out on like mega ethers or something, but or rather mega elixirs. Cause, dude, if I had enough mega elixirs to give Donald and Goofy for every single secret boss fight, yo, we breeze those so fast. I went through a whole combo before they were actually targetable. Come on, stop dropping healing items. Really? Oh, I saw you. Ooh, come on, get him. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's not an enemy sore. You can just not lock onto that instead. Thank you. Alright, I think that's either three or four. I'm not sure. Well, I got a random power gym. Duchess is how it's pronounced. Female version of Duke. Gotcha. I mean, I figured that's what it was, but I just wasn't sure how to actually pronounce it. Phantom would be easy. Oh yeah, Phantom is like no problem at this point. I got so much magic. Well, more importantly, Goofy's got so much magic and he could just keep MP gifting me forever. 
Dude, I hate these freaking air pirates. I hate them with such a passion. They glide so far along the outside. Really? Got really? I keep trying to jump and I haven't even landed yet, so I just keep gliding. Come on. Okay, one more, I think. Got him. Come on. Please, let me hit this thing. Ah, darn you. Oh, I got it! I'm shocked, but I got it. Okay, cool. We are done. Okay, cool. So, all that time... And, uh, we got all the materials we need, except for the three from the Neo Shadow. If only the rest were that quick. Ah, you punk. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. No! Yeah, I'm spamming triangle in the hopes that, uh, there we go. Because they just keep spawning. But there's a small gap between each, uh, little wave. Alright, everybody, wish me luck because this is where the real grinding comes in. If once we finish this, we're practically home free. This is the only real RNG thing left in the game. I just gotta keep coming in and out of here until eventually uh, the Neo Shadow spawn. And I only need it to happen three times. After this, we have uh, all the gummy ship missions. So we have to redo everything. Yes! Oh my god, it actually happened really uh, quick. Alright, come on, Ars. Thank you, Ars. Thank you, Ars. Oh, well, never mind. Thank you, Ars. Come on. Problem is, though, as I recently found out against Bambi. This entire wave of Neo Shadows only counts as one enemy. So, it's not like I might get more than one drop from these guys. I may get one or none. Or not. Okay, that's it. Okay, good. So, I need Stormy Stones. I need two more. If I get two more Stormy Stones, we're done. I unlock the ultimate weapon and is it like the Fantasia something? I don't know, whatever staff is for Donald. But I did not expect that spawn so soon. I was here for half an hour going in and out of this room looking for either Neo Shadows or White Mushrooms and I found each once. I'm off the SmackDown, may RNG Jesus be with you, John. Thank you, Bucky. Enjoy the down of smack. What? Okay. Camera, I'm gonna need you to not do that. Also, Chroma Key, you are really bugging now. Holy crap, give me a moment, let me fix that. Yo. I mean, I know why, it's because my, uh... My automatic, like, night settings just kicked on. So the... Oh my god, look at that. So bad. Oh my god, this is so bad. There's really not much I could do about it either. It just kind of is what it is. I'll get better lighting in here at some point. Once I have the lighting fixed, then the camera will also follow suit. I could also uh, one day hopefully afford to get a nice like 4K camera and uh, plug that in, but. 
Oh, hi, guys. about the other randomly dropped accessories that you get from enemies uh what other randomly dropped accessories i get from enemies and yeah i agree with your question what about them and watch john get these and go back to traverse town and realize he miscounted somewhere the only thing i possibly could have miscounted on was the lucid shards That's literally the only thing. I mean, how can I miscount one? If I can't count to one, that's a problem. I, mean, I literally just gotta keep coming in and out of this room until Neo Shadow spawn. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. By the way, I don't know what color this shirt looks like on screen, but like this is actually supposed to be like a navy blue. <laughs> looks like gray or black on uh, the preview I'm seeing. Can you count this? Oh, I have no idea how many that is, dude. What, what, what's your username again? Lots of Crash 40. What? What's that last thing in your name? I don't. I don't know what that is. You play dumb with me. I play dumb with you. That's how the world works. Give me Neo Shadows. I just need two more. Let's see. I mean, I think it was last stream. You got an accessory randomly from an enemy drop or something. I don't know just how many of those there are. I was just joking that you need that you have to get those two. Um. I mean, I was getting multiple accessories as item drops, like all the protect and Proterra chains. And all that stuff. But, um. But yeah, I don't have to get those. Those are not a factor whatsoever. The only. The only things I actually need from item drops. Are the synthesis materials. The defender and the wizard's relic. Those are the only things in the entire game that I actually need as drop items. Everything else is optional and irrelevant and consequential and a lot of other uh, negative words that start with the letter I oh come on man I just need two more as a matter of fact I'm gonna try something I'm gonna go to Traverse Town knock this out and then come back and hopefully they spawn faster because I just recently came back to the world. We shall see. Also, hi, Gab. Oops. Come on, turn the cam camera. doesn't want to turn there. That's fun. Okay. So I know there was one that was actually unique or something. You said it was the exact same as another accessory, but it didn't give MP or something. What? Oh, so probably like the stat distribution on something, and I just acknowledged that it was so similar to something else. Whatever the case, um, time to verify this. Oh, it's fantastic, fantastista. It's supposed to be a reference to Fantasia, but Fantasista, Fantasista, Like this is so awkward to say. Um, synthesize, boom. Uh, that is another weapon for Donald. 
I need the one dark matter, which is what I was getting the lucid shards for. So that's done. And I just, yeah, the two stormy stones. That's all I need. And these are from the Neo Shadows. Um. Let's see, Thunder Gem, Mystery Goose, Serenity Power. Dark Matter. See, I was thinking, what if I just get a power up, but they use Dark Matters, and I ain't about to grind for another Dark Matter, so. Now I'm good. And by the way, in case anybody was wondering, the reason I didn't get the trophy just now for having all of Donald's stabs is because there's actually one more and I need to beat Phantom. Once I beat Phantom, I get the last upgrade for Stop. And once I get the last upgrade for Stop, I gotta go talk to Merlin. He gives uh, the Dream Staff. Or Dream Rod, rather. Um, yeah, the Dream Rod. And then that's it for Donald. And then for Sora, funny thing is, I'm going to get the ultimate weapon before, like, three of the Keyblades. Because, uh, oh, well, rather two, because you get the Diamond Dust and the one Wing Angel. I don't think any other secret, oh, there we go. I don't think any other secret bosses give me any, uh, Keyblades, but... If they do, I guess there's that. I love R so much. Nah, don't you go on the ground on me. Ooh. That was cute. Come on. Oh, not the one I want. I accidentally used freaking Ragnarok. Oh, you suck. Stop that. You want to be guardian? There we go. Uh, yeah, let's uh try this one more again. Save. Leave the world. You know, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna warp to Traverse Town. I mean, if you can't tell if it's broke, don't bother trying to fix it. Just do the exact same thing all over again. It's so dumb that this is considered one wave. No, 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 not one wave, one enemy. Think of it as one a uh, mini boss separated into like 15 parts because in reality they all share one health bar even though they have separate health bar it it's so weird but yeah we only need one more guys wish me luck and we're done Because I, I, I'm not actually positive about this, but I think the Neo Shadows actually are a 100% drop. Like, I think if you beat them, they will drop the Stormy whatever. Stormy Gym. I, I, I don't forgot what it's called, but... I think it's a guaranteed drop. I'm not positive, but I think it is. And even if it's not, all the Lucky Strikes should help me. And then, uh, I feel like we should just start doing the gummy ship stuff next. And then after the gummy ship stuff, we'll finish the game by doing all the secret bosses. And then we'll just be done with Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And I will probably not be coming back to this game for a very long time, if ever. And by the way, guys, I'm not sure how the rest of the series is going to go as far as me trying to platinum everything because I'm not particularly in a rush and I don't want to, like, devote my entire Twitch channel to uh, Kingdom Hearts so much. But, like... 
I think we should do like a platinum because Kingdom Hearts 1 is going to be the longest thing because uh, between all this like I'm, I'm almost 100% done this file then I got to do proud mode which is going to be one sitting for a few hours but then after that the only time I need to do two difficulties again I think is uh, chain of memories Unless, I mean, I could do everything on proud mode. I'm not sure about that one, actually, because I know one of the things uh, you have to do is not die. And another thing you have to do is never run away from a battle. So, but then again, I could just use world cards that have a save room like every other room if I really want to. Once I have roulette cards, I can just spam that non-stop. So I might just do proud mode for that. So I don't have to do more than one difficulty on a game anymore, number one. Uh, number two, I it's come to my attention that Chain of Memories might actually be one of the shortest games and that the RNG factor isn't nearly as bad as I thought it was. Thank you, Rain, for pointing that out. Because uh, she's doing it right now. And she's actually working backwards, so she started with Kingdom Hearts 3, Dream Drop Distance, uh, so on and so forth, going backwards. And she says Chain of Memories is actually the fastest one she has so far. Like, all she's got to do is level Sora and Riku up to level 100 and she's done. So... I feel like it should still be time consuming, but she says she sucks at the Kingdom Hearts series. And that Chain of Memories is by far the easiest and the fastest for us so far. And I almost have Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix memorized. Whereas she had a lot of trouble on certain fights. So I just feel like for me personally with my experience with the other games. Kingdom Hearts 1 might actually be the worst game. So... We'll see when we come to the rest of the series, but I don't want to stream it too often. Like, once a week at the most. Maybe once every two weeks. And we'll just do one really long stream a week uh, devoted to trying to do the Platinum Trophy. Like, if I could just do one 12-hour stream a week of Kingdom Hearts, I think that'll sustain me for a little while as far as, you know, trying to get everything done. And then also on the YouTube end, that's almost two weeks worth of videos right there for anyone who actually wants to watch this one hour by one hour by one hour and they don't care what's going on. It's like, hey, he's playing Kingdom Hearts. Oh, he's just grinding and he's talking? Sure, I'll listen to him ramble. So, we'll see. Um, Taco Sack is saying three, I think, was my easiest. Birth by Sleep was the worst. Okay, what made Birth by Sleep the worst? What aspect of it made it the worst? Because I would assume that it's the, uh, what you call it, uh, getting all the different abilities and uh, commands unlocked. I would assume that would be the hard part. Because you got to grind the uh, synthesis materials, which is kind of luck based. Not not even kind of luck. It, it is luck based to get some of the materials. And then you got to sit there and grind it. It's just time consuming. So yeah, please fill me in. Tell me whatever horror story you've got. Yeah, of course, one left and these things won't spawn. Exactly. I only need one. I only need one. See, honestly, the longest... Well, I mean, technically the longest thing I have left is rebeating the whole game on proud mode. But aside from that... Oh! Really? I get white mushrooms instead? See, I was glad when they spawned the, the one time randomly before because I needed uh, the gravity arts or whatever it was. Yeah, I'm literally just going in and out, in and out, in and out. And uh, 
to be honest i don't even really need the timer right now because at this point i've already decided that as soon as i get this one last item and i go get the ultra weapon that's just gonna be it for this part and then we're gonna go on break and then uh we can probably uh chat and chill while i make a a nice little pew 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 gummy shit Supposedly, the best thing to do for one of the missions is literally to just put, like, the best rockets you've got on a small cockpit and just go into the corner and just zoom through the whole thing. Rather than trying to actually beat anything, you just sprint right through it. You know, with guns. You sprint with guns. Um, I'm sorry, without guns. So, I'll figure it out as we go, to be honest, because I've never actually done the gummy ship missions, because that was never a thing back then. That was added in Final Mix, so it's like one of the few things I did not 100% in this game the first time I played it, way back when I was like, what, 10, 11? And by the way, guys, I mentioned this to my friend uh, Brandon at work, like, uh... The reason I hate grinding in like the reason I hate the idea of grinding is because Kingdom Hearts was my one and only introduction to grinding. Everything else like if people are like, "Oh, grinding is my favorite part of the game" or like it uh it's so rewarding to put in all that time and effort just to get like something so much more powerful or something cool to show off like the ends justify the means and stuff. But for me, it's just like, does it really though? Because my first uh, time 100%ing all this was when I was already done the game. I already beat all the super bosses, well, secret bosses. So there's literally nothing else for me to do but grind. And I grinded it out until I got the ultimate weapon. And I didn't even know that the ultimate weapon was a thing in the game. I literally was just synthesizing the rest of the items. And eventually I got I was just like, oh cool, that's an awesome keyblade. But then I quickly realized, oh, it's so good. But I have nothing to use it on but other enemies. These other basic and I can go fight Ansem, and then Ansem was super stupid easy. And I was just like, well, um... That's it, I guess. The... Cool. So, yeah. That's why I'm afraid to play any game where grinding is practically mandatory because I don't like RNG. Like this. Like, if it was literally, oh, Neo Shadow spawn in this room, go in and out of the room four times, uh, kill them all, and then get the item, that's fine. I'll do grinding like that all day, every day. If I need to fight a hundred Neo Shadows back to back, as long as they're back to back, no problem. But if they spawn once in a few minutes, once in another few minutes, and then I sit here for the next 20 minutes spouting my uh, plans and ideas for platinuming the rest of the series, and I'm not actually fighting anything else, and I have not shut up to breathe for more than three seconds at a time for the, mat the past 25 minutes, yeah, um, this is not the kind of grinding I want to do, to be honest. Uh, let's see, I remember one ship I saw was just a big donut with no center and guns all over and got through easily. Yeah, that that's one thing, I think. Alright, see, the big problem with Burpy Sleeve is you literally have to do everything three times, all of it, getting all abilities, commands, doing all Mirage Arena three times. It's not that hard, it's just stupid tedious. Yeah. Okay, so your problem is doing it three times. Um, and that's a fair point. Uh, they gotta do it all three times. But the way I see it is that you can do the Mirage Arena at the end. Like, you don't have to do anything. You can just wait until the very end of the game and then do the Mirage Arena all, like, back to back to back to back. I can breeze through the Mirage Arena in maybe, like, 15, 20 minutes. 
it's the final stages that I have a problem with. Because, keep in mind, I cheese birth my sleep so bad. What, remember that boss rush where you fight like the pumpkin, the, uh, the big sewing machine thing, and all the iron and prisoners or whatever they're called? Um, whenever I do that, I actually spam like triple fire Raga. Then again, that's only for Aqua. Hmm. I might need to figure out something else for the other guys, but for Aqua, it's really easy. And uh, as far as like the secret bosses, I'm just gonna grind to level 100 before I fight the secret bosses. So then the secret bosses are gonna be pushovers. See, I think that's where you messed up. I think you did all the, the things without doing the grinding first. Which, like I said, I'll grind if it's worth it. And if I can grind to 100 to make the platinum part easier because everything dies so quick. Well, there you go. And also, there's quick ways to level up too. And I don't remember exactly how it works. But there's a spot in Radiant Garden where you originally fought like the Trinity Armor. And it's like if you destroy all the enemies and you use fireworks or something... It basically doubles the amount of experience you get in like you can level up like 15 times in seconds it's something ridiculously easy and it's so exploitable but that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exploit that I just got to remind myself what it is and how it works and then once I've got it we'll breeze through it all so literally just playing through the game is gonna be the hardest part for me because some points I might feel like I'm under leveled and stuff like that which by the way uh, do you need to beat birth by sleep without dying is that one of the trophies like are there are there any limitations or challenges in that regard as far as a trophy because that could be an issue where are these Neo Shadows? I got two in less than 10 minutes. I have not been able to find another one. There's not? Okay. So yeah, I might just play uh, Birth by Sleep on critical mode all the way through and just do it. So that way I don't have to play through it all six times. But then again... Hmm. It would be a lot easier and quicker to do everything on beginner mode. Because even at level 100, I feel like the secret bosses might still be obnoxious. Because you don't have that much HP, and that's, like, the only determining factor. So maybe I will do critical mode, like, first, and then go back and do everything on beginner mode and grind out that way. One way or another, it's all going to be done. And I do think Final Mix uh, for Kingdom Hearts 1 is going to be the worst for me for the entire series. Let's see, well, grinding could be a bit different in other RPG games. For instance, one of the games I played does require grinding and levels and getting more materials to sell and get better weapons. It's a pretty tough game as well. But that, but is it RNG based though? Or is it literally grinding in terms of just doing something over and over again? Because, like, this is RNG. If the Neo Shadow spawn, I'm done. If. Big if. And it's so obnoxious, I want it to end. I'm tired of seeing these enemies that are not Neo Shadows. I'm really tired of seeing these enemies that are not Neo Shadows. Please be more shadows the next time I go to this door. I beg of you. Frick. Ah. Games like Final Fantasy V and Bravely Default thrive on grinding, though. Wait. 
wait, thrive on grinding through if you know what you're doing, it won't matter as much. Again, if it's not RNG, you make me grind all you want. As long as it's not on a random time thing. And for those of you that don't understand what the heck I'm even talking about, RNG stands for Random Number Generator. All that means is, like, let's say the game has a value on this. And I'm making up a value, by the way. So let's say it's a value of 1 to 255. And the Random Number Generator literally generates a number randomly, and it will go... 117. 117 is not the value I need to come in this room and find Neo Shadows. So I leave. Now I come back. 211. Uh, that's not the number either. So I don't know what the value is to come in here. And even if I did, I'm not sure if there's even a way to manipulate it. So you know what? Hey, Google. Uh... Kingdom Hearts Final Mix Neo Shadow RNG Manipulation Hmm Hmm, this is for Chain of Memories. going on here he keeps getting white mushrooms for whatever reason okay so I, I don't know it looks like he just went through the other side instead so let's see if that actually manipulates anything like instead of leaving and coming back he just went through two rooms which I don't know if this is going to affect anything or not, but let's see. Let's actually see if just going in and out of this spot. Oh! Yo! Uh, I don't think it was... Ac I don't think it actually mattered. I think I just got lucky again. But, uh, yo! Here they are. Um, I just went through the other entrance. I'm gonna try it again for the lols, but uh, I, yeah, I think I'm just done. Here we go. We're about to get the ultimate weapon, boys. Yo, I honestly th didn't even realize this was. That Wait, hold up. Did they actually spawn twice in a row? Because when I saw the enemy spawn a second ago, I think it looked like this, but I thought it was the other enemies. Oh, hello. You don't. Ow. There we go. Come on, where are you going? Oh, you suck. Come here. Come here. This is actually taking a lot longer than normal? Yeah. Yo, 
go. This is really endless until you get the right one. No way. No! Oh, I'm about to say! Oh, that almost upset me. Oh, that almost upset me. Yo, I would have been so mad if they just finally spawned and didn't drop one. So uh, let's go in and out of here. I right, go all the way. This is giving me uh, sniper wild flashbacks. Okay, never mind. It didn't work that time, dude. If it had actually done something, yo. Wait, I had to go into the other room. Any progress? Hey, Gab. Um, you mind going to the other room, like? on command because uh that might be good luck for me because she says i had to go into the other room any progress i guess not uh not only did we make progress we finished it's done we're about to get like okay only two more trophies no wait I don't know how many trophies we're about to get. We might just get one. I forget. I don't know if there's actually a trophy for getting the ultimate Keyblade. Or if it's just for getting through all the synthesis. So we're about to figure that out. Uh, Final item. Ultima weapon. Done. Synthesis Master! That's me! Um, hmm. Heart Guard? Hmm. What else can I actually make? If I had three more Mithril Stones, I could make another Cosmic Arts. How much is that worth? Definitely not that much. Alright, so it just does four defense and all the... Okay. Four strength. Versus... Two strength. Oh, that basically increases everything. See, so I'm gonna leave that just as is. We're done. Let's, uh... So I could be a synthesis master, but not a Keyblade master. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's actually really funny. Uh, which, speaking of equipment... There we go. The ultimate Keyblade raises max MP by 2 and possesses maximum power and attributes. There we go. Uh, yeah. So it's even stronger gives me more magic and it's pretty it's shiny and gold and it's still somehow like the worst ultimate weapon uh, design I love the design I really do but I honestly think this is the worst ultimate weapon I don't know about you guys let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Ultima weapon design? Which game? Uh, mine's just three. I'm sorry. Um, but, I'm gonna go ahead and save again, just to, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Uh, and I will see you guys after the break, and we'll start working on gummy ships. And doing all the gummy ship sections. I have not done a single challenge on any of them and I need to find out what I actually need to do so I'll figure that out during the break so I'll be back when I'm back I'll see you then toodles